There we go, Earth, Wind, and Fire. We're singing a song. We're getting ready for the weekend, and we're getting ready for the Astros to be taken out of the playoffs. <laughs> man, that Astros game last night, man, it started at 7.30, and then went on until 12.30. Five hours, man. Five hours later. Jeez. Come on, man. They got to control some of these baseball games to where they shortened the timeouts. They shortened this. I mean, five hours. A five-hour game. Even the fans, man, they broke out the sleeping bags and they were going me, me, and they started serving breakfast at Minute Maid Park. Really, man, five hours of baseball is entirely too long. It really, really is. Good morning, John. I'm going to Ruben Garcia. Good morning, amigo. I'm Arthur Hernandez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. 8.55 in the morning. Double R Radio streaming live. This is San Antonio, Texas. Five years of up and running and... Uh, I ain't going anywhere, at least not that I know of. Anyway, do not forget about my new schedule that's going to be happening. It all starts next week. So look, at my new schedule will be... Let me see here. Let me do, I need some help here because I forget. I'm, I forget to pay bills sometimes. I forget a lot of stuff sometimes. Um, my new schedule is going to be starting next week. Tuesday and Thursday will be prime time from 7 to 9 p.m. In the evening, I'll be prime time on the radio show. And uh, también... Uh, my morning show will be Wednesday and Friday. So look, there you go. Simple. Tuesday, Thursday, prime time. Wednesday, Friday, and la mañana. And of course, Sunday is Sunday. Cruising Classic Sunday. This all starts next Tuesday. So look, be sure to make, uh, mark that down in your calendar of my new going live schedule, okay? Definitely looking forward to that. I really, really am. Anyways, it is time for question of the day. But before we get to question of the day, let's see what the hell is going on out here. Um, let me do some good morning, Charlie. Good, good morning, Charlie. Good to Jerry Wadia. Good morning, Rosemary Gomez. Good morning, Cynthia Borrego. Uh, Lucero. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go, Arthur Hernandez. Good morning, Ruben Garcia. Buenos dias, Alma Almaguer. Hopefully, I said that right, Alma. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, check this out, man. Crazy story. Um, an employee who uh, feeds sharks at a mall fell into the shark tank as she was feeding the sharks. How crazy is this? When you feed sharks, they got a shopping mall in China where they have sharks, but you can see underneath the floor. Well, it was time to feed the sharks, and an employee who feeds the sharks, a female, opened up the little lid and started feeding the sharks. Well, somehow she fell into the water where the sharks were. And uh, the sharks left her alone. Obviously, the sharks weren't into Chinese food. So anyways, there you go about that shark tank deal. Uh, good morning, John. I'm going to have to Rosie Lopez. Good morning, Rosie. Everything is rosy. Mary Rivera. Good morning, good morning, Mary. How are you doing? Christina uh, Islas. Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias. Anyways, let's see what else is going on here. You know, I read the story and I said, this isn't going to help anybody. Check this out. An airline is now offering in-flight meditation for people who are nervous flying on a plane. So what they're trying to do is they're going to give you meditation while you're on the plane. That way you don't get so nervous if you do get nervous on the plane. Meditation ain't going to help you when that plane's going down. It's going down. I don't care what kind of meditation. I don't care what kind of liquor you've been drinking. I don't care what kind of lucky outfit you're wearing. If that plane's going down, nothing's going to help you. <laughs> I understand they're trying to calm your nerves. But hell, man, if I want to calm my nerves, I'll just take a shot of Maker's Mark. I'll take a shot of tequila. That's what's going to calm my nerves. Not no freaking meditation. Oh, God, we're doing this. <laughs> All right. Really, man, meditation's not going to help you on a plane. If that baby starts going down, man, you're going along with it. I got to tell you, man, my coffee is kicking booty this morning. It really, really is. I'm going to get to my question of the day. Um... I, um, I'm going to go ahead and use his name. I wasn't going to, but hell, man, he put his name all over. He put it all over um, my morning show yesterday, and he was the one that brought up this question. And I said, you know what? That's a good question. So I'm going to post it right now. We're going to talk about this. Here we go. Question of the day. I want you to help me out, Rosie and Pepe and everybody else. Help me out here. Question of the day. Is being romantically in love overrated? Hell yes, or hell no. Now, you're probably going, Robert, well, what do you mean? Well, I mean, 
is falling in love with somebody, being romantically in love with somebody, is it overrated? Is it overhyped? Do you need to? Do you have to be in love with somebody? Do you feel you have to? Or can you handle life on your own? <laughs> you know, let me just say this. Good morning, this day. I don't know, I'm thinking of you, hippie. Rosie Lopez calling me a hippie? Hey, man, I'm not a hippie, Rosie. What the hell, Rosie? <laughs> right. What do you mean a hippie, Rosie? I don't think so, Rosie. Uh, it's just a little ponytail, a little cute ponytail. Good morning, Jada. I'm going to Prima Irene Gayona. Good morning, Prima. Um, Prima, I want us to thank you for uh, sharing that uh, today was Theo's birthday. Your father, my Theo, he would have been celebrating his birthday today. I have a lot of fond memories of Theo. I really, really do. It's the May. Rest in peace, Prima. There we go. Guadalupe Munoz is watching from Huntsville, Texas. Isn't that what they got? Huntsville Prison? Okay. Uh, Guadalupe Munoz, buenos dias. Maria Lopez. Good morning, Maria. How we doing? Gregorio Drendon. How you doing, Gregorio? Brenda Silva. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Rosie Lopez says, thinking of you, hippie. Hey, come on now. I'm, I'm not a hippie. No, 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 no. It's a little trencita, nothing else. So let's get back to my question of the day. Let's get back to my question of the day. Here we go. Is being romantically in love overrated? Do you think it's cool to be in love or it's not cool to be in love? Really, think about this. I mean, you can be in love with somebody and they may not be in love with you. Uh, that doesn't work. You know, but a lot of people, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> and then it's nice when it does work. It's nice when two people love each other. I don't care in today's world, gays. I, it doesn't matter. If two people love each other, more power to them romantically. If it works, more power to them. But the problem here is that what happens if you've fallen in love with somebody but didn't, they didn't love you back? That's where the kicker comes in is being romantically in love overrated. Really? Anyways, uh, uh, Brenda Silver says, Good morning, Robert. Going to have uh, two hubby of 30 years just passed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Brenda. Uh, definitely am. Um, if the, uh, my, my condolences go out to you and your family, Brenda Silva. There we go. So let's think about this a little bit more. You know, romantically in love, overrated. I mean, how do you know you're in love? How do you know it's just not sex? How do you know it's just not her homemade tortillas? How do you know it's just not her company? How do you know that it's just not her phone calls in the middle of the night? How do you separate being romantically in love and romantically infatuated? Really, so think about this. Being romantically in love overrated. Leroy, help me out, Leroy. Help me on this one, Leroy. Is being romantically in love overrated? Talk to me, Leroy. Help me on this one, dude. You know, I'm thinking right now, you're probably asking, Robert, how many times have you been in love? Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Um, I first fell in love with this, uh, this this girl that I picked up back in 77, she cost me $35 for an hour. And I thought I was in love, but I wasn't. I thought I was, but I wasn't. I, I wasn't. I, I, no. Love shouldn't cost $35. That's all I'm going to say. But as I went on through life, I found out that was a cheaper date than some of the people I've taken out. Hey, man, I've taken out women. I had steak and lobster and wine and champagne and, and got nothing for it. At least with the $35. You know, the eagle landed over here, man, and the eagle never landed. That's it, hey, so. Anyway, good morning, shout out to Sean Zam, Gonzalez, Texas, in the house. There we go. Don't want to miss anybody. Ida, Zamides, good morning, good morning, good morning. Leroy Erbazo, good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, um, head on over to Robert Rivas Internet Radio Group page right now and answer me, pregunta, por favor. Uh, Leroy says, of course it's overrated. Uh, Leroy, are you saying it's overrated? Uh, hell yes. Or hell no, Leroy. I'm trying to figure out what you're trying to talk about here, Leroy, on, on love being overrated. Um, this is the way I see one thing about love being overrated or not being uh, overrated. The deal here is that, uh, like I said, uh, what good does it do you if you love somebody if they don't love you back? How long do you hang out? <laughs> How long do you follow them around <laughs> until you say, that's it. Enough is enough. But like I said, when it clicks, it's awesome. I think it's beautiful when two people love each other. Awesome when it's clicking. But when it doesn't, 
That's the kicker. Ay es lo cabrón. Good morning, John Aguilante. Irving Ordial is good morning. Leti Castañón. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Anyways, by the way, the San Antonio Spurs kicked off their season last night and they beat the Minnesota Timberwolves. It, it turned out to be a nail biter. There you go. Uh oh, Leroy says it's overrated. Hell yeah. <laughs> Without Leroy, because when you're married, you got to be careful how you answer this. If you're married, you're saying, really, you know, being in love is overrated. <laughs> um, really, think about this. What are your expectations? If you love somebody and they love you back, what are your expectations? Uh, hey, vieja, vieja, de, quiero café cada mañana, quiero que me hagas dos taquitos, uno de blanquito, otro de patas. También quiero que, que, que limpies la casa y que, you know, quiero, baby, que me cuides en la noche. I mean... Where do the expectations come in as well to finally somebody says, that's it, screw you, you do your own tortillas, you make your own bed, right, right? So that's where love being overrated can come into play. It really, really can. Expectations as well. It really, really is. Head on over to Robert Reaver's Internet Radio group page right now and answer me, pregunta por favor. Is, is being in love, being romantically in love, overrated? Wow. Huh. Think about this one. Let's get me going. Little study by R. Kelly. Your body's calling. I don't care if love's overrated or not. I'm going. If your body's calling me, I'm going to be there. Good morning. Pam! Beat up this morning. Feeling a little beat up. I stayed up late last night doing, uh, well, not doing, but watching the Astros and the Red Sox, man. Game went on until 1230. Crazy. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me, Robert Join me now. Don't cost nothing. Join me.